My name is Cristina Pato, and yes, this is a bagpipe, and we are in Santa Barbara. Mm -hmm. And I'm right here with my friends Ken Kosick from the Neuroscience Research Institute, and my friend Mary Hancock from the Anthropology Studies. And, and you may be wondering what we are doing together. We are wondering that too. But we are putting together a wonderful class for this next summer, and we are trying to bridge these three departments, the arts, the humanities, and the science. I just can't imagine a better experience for students to have exposure to a topic around memory that relates to so many diverse disciplines. And at the same time, this course will allow students to express their own ideas and develop their own projects in the very area that we're discussing. Understanding how our individual memories become tied to social memories, become tied to larger narratives and places and representations is what brings me to this course. Hi, I'm Kim Yasuda and I'm uh, here at UCSB in the Department of Art. And I'm Ken Kosick. I'm here in the Department of Art at the moment, but I'm actually in neuroscience over in another building. I have a lab where I do uh, molecular biology and brain research. Class is, I think, really exciting for me is that you are over here across campus from neuroscience in the bio building here in art, and that we have the opportunity through this class to actually explore together with the students uh, the subject of memory. Right? And Absolutely. I think that's something that we don't get to do very often as faculty. We're often very siloed in our research. So this is a really kind of an opening up of the campus. We are going to crack that great science, <laughs> art divide. Okay, shake on that. Yes. <laughs> One of the things I think that's really exciting about um, the, the class on memory is in what ways do artists engage with the subject of memory? How do they translate memory into spaces that we inhabit or objects we make or materials that we, we work with? So you will ask maybe why a bagpiper is interested in memory. The, um, the reality is I have been fascinated by neuroscience all my life. In fact, I think I wanted to be a neuroscientist, but I started with music too early in my life to actually make a change. And in the process of being a professional musician and having an interest in neuroscience, um, my mother, the center of my life, and my mentor, started to lose her memory a few years ago. And in the process of learning if what she had was frontotemporal dementia or Alzheimer's, uh, helped me to understand the power of music in those kinds of processes and exploring the connections between the arts and my own healing, her own healing, and science. Because you forget certain things over time. And take your childhood, for example. Like, how much do you genuinely remember? Like, how many memories are stories that you've been told? This is important because I could share the experiences through a lens that's, that's mine. Some people share a similar lens, or perhaps they open something new up to you. 